Hi there, and welcome to the He's My Son YouTube channel. Today, we're going to do a full walkthrough of Norwegian Cruise Line's amazing ship, Aqua. We hope you'll join us, come along for the whole way as we go around this amazing ship and show you everything that we can. It's going to be a great trip, and we hope you come along for the ride. If you like what you see, we hope you'll like and subscribe to the channel as it will really help us out. We're trying to get as much subscribers as possible, just like everybody else here on YouTube. We're going to start out on the top of the ship here, near the water slides and on the pool deck. We're in Juneau, Alaska today, and you can see it's a little bit cold, wet, and rainy, but that's not going to stop us from having a great time. And here we have a couple of the hot tubs out on deck along with the shower and you can see all the showers are handicap accessible with great handrails and seats for boats who like to cruise who have accessibility issues. Norwegian does a great job of taking care of them. We have some other cruise ships in port with us. You can see a uh, Princess cruise ship right there off in the distance. We are docked exactly in Juneau. We're just a little bit outside of Juneau today. Short 10 minute ride into town. But since I've already been there, I decided to stay on the ship and record a walkthrough for you guys. As you can see, the scenery in Alaska is absolutely amazing. Every time you go outside or look out the window, there's something new. We're going up the stairs to the Vibe Beach Club and Sun Bank area. The Vibe Beach Club is an add-on which we did not take part in. I think the Vibe Beach Club would be a better deal on a warmer weather cruise where you would be able to use it more often and get better value for it. see some smaller boats in the water and clouds in the sky. This is also right where the seaplanes land for Juno. So there's seaplanes taking off and landing throughout the entire day as well, which is something unusual you don't get to see in the lower 48 very often. And there's the Vibe Beach Club that is closed right now. And looking back towards the back of the ship, we can see the some of the racetrack and a better view of the water slides that are available. Not really water slide left weather right now, but they were open and available if you wanted to tap fun.
better view off the side of the ship. Juneau, Alaska is one of the state capitals that's not accessible by road uh, at all from the lower 48 or even Canada. Most of their supplies come in via ship or airplane. And looking down, you can see some of the amazing crew cleaning and getting the excess water off the deck, making sure it's safe. I was just having a conversation with this gentleman about the Vibe Beach Club, actually. He was uh, up here looking for it. He had access to it and wanted to check it out and uh, wasn't happy that it was closed right now. Um, it's kind of the nice thing about cruising is you always run into people who are very friendly and wanting to talk and get to know you. And that's just one of the great things about cruising. Making my way carefully down the stairs as it's very wet and slippery outside. No one likes to spend a vacation in the hospital. It's very easy to get distracted with the amazing scenery and views as well. And we're coming up on two more hot tubs on the top deck, um, along with another shower. We didn't get a chance to use these hot tubs because we have thermal pass access with our cabin. The thermal suite um, on Seattle is pretty amazing. Uh, it includes a very giant colossal therapy uh, tub and some other different kinds of therapy rooms, a steam room, a salt room snow room and a standard sauna as well. You can see down on the kids splash pad area from the uh, walk around or the jogging track. We do recommend getting access to the thermal suite if you can, either with your cabin or as an add-on in the cruise planner or when you get on board. It really was amazing. We went there every day and it was great to go after breakfast or after a meal or at any time really to relax and get some much needed therapy as well as sit in the salt room and stand in the snow room which really was amazing. A room where it was blowing snow all the time. Looking back towards downtown Juneau, you can see some other cruise ships in port today. One from Royal Caribbean and one from All of America.
and headed back towards, and we're actually underneath the racetrack right now. This is the, one of the specialty restaurants available. This is the American Diner or American Grill with 1950s, 1960s Americana theme, plenty of black and white tile, chrome. And my favorite, the license plates on the table. We didn't eat here as we had so many options, we chose other places. So I can't tell you if the food is good or not. But the decor and the definitely looks nice. I don't know why the lights are going on and off, but during this whole walk around, they just seem to be randomly going on and off. I don't know if it's a power saving feature on the ship or if they were just doing system tests while we were in port. Oftentimes while we were in port, the ship's crew will do drills and other things while they get a chance to, but most of the passengers are away from the ship and won't be bothered by the noise or activity. Looking at the sail and the NCL logo. And a closer look at the water slides available. The water was running through the slides at this time I was recording, but I didn't see anybody using them and I'm not sure. They were going to let you do it or not, um, but it was fairly chilly outside with a good wind blowing 25 30 miles an hour. So you would have to be very adventurous to want to go down the slide in that kind of weather. And here's a look at the beginning of the go karts. Uh, go karts are obviously covered up due to the weather, and you can see a little bit of the track. see a portion of the track actually goes out over the water and the undulation of the track or the up and down rides also surprised me. This could be a pretty thrilling ride I would imagine if the boat's rocking a little bit and you get the feeling that you're driving right off the side of the ship. And we can see a little bit more of the racetrack here. And now we're headed into the laser tag area or the laser tag arena, the back portion of the boat or aft portion of the boat. And I was really surprised by how good the theming and 
decor and setup of the laser tag arena was. We didn't participate in it at all. We didn't really see if they were running it or not because of the weather. But as you can see, there's a story to tell along the wall here. And one of the aforementioned seaplanes coming in for a landing. The Laser Tag Arena has a sunken Atlantis, lost Atlantis type of theme, I believe. I didn't stand there too much and read it too much. It was a cold and wet and rainy out here. Man, you can see just how high up on the water we are here. I think we're on the very top, deck 17. see we have some sort of sea serpent or creature that comes into play with the laser tag. And you pretty much can't take a step in any direction without being hit with some more great scenery and Alaska views. There's quite a bit of water there, so I think I'm going to go back the other way. And it's a good thing I did, because I get to answer another question that always pops up on Alaska cruises. Do you get to see wildlife from the boat? And the answer is yes, as a bald eagle is about to interrupt me right here. Just decided to fly around and check out what's going on here on NCL on board. He does have quite an impressive wingspan, or she, I'm not an expert. And as I said earlier, the wind was blowing 25, 30 miles an hour, so it looks like uh, he or she was just having fun going up and riding the wings uh, as it was blowing hard enough to really not have to move the wings very much. As you can see, uh, soaring like an eagle. And coming in for a closer look. In addition to bald eagles, you can spot whales, other fish, and marine life, including seals. And if you're really lucky, you might see a bear or two walking along the shore.
And as I'm walking along here, you can see the Mount Roberts tramway right there up towards the top of the screen. That is the tramway in uh, Juneau, Alaska that you can ride from the dock up to the top of the mountain there and get some pretty spectacular views, I'm sure. Uh, with the weather and I already having to be in Juneau last year, uh, I didn't really want to go into town and uh, go on it this year. But I wanted to stay and record this walk around for you guys. scoreboard for the racetrack. And you can see a better view of the water slides now and the curves and bends and now they go off the side of the ship, which is probably a pretty thrilling ride. shower handicap accessible. some of the trams going up and down the mountain on the Mount Roberts tramway there. Another look at the Princess cruise ship there, and along with the trams going back and forth, and some less scenic shipping containers. Probably in Alaska, but warm weather. There's plenty of seating 
working out on the deck. We were in Seattle, it was 92 degrees, and every single one of these chairs was full by the time we left. Having a little bit of trouble with the doors, I can never really figure these out the entire time I was on the boat. Sometimes they would work automatically. Other times you would have to hit the button to get it to work. And other times it was a combination of both. So if you know what the secret is to Norwegian's doors, please leave a comment down below. And unfortunately, this is the closest look I'm going to get you of the Haven area, the ship in the ship concept from Norwegian. Uh, we weren't booked in there, so I can't show it to you. But they have their own spa and pool and restaurant in there, and uh, all the, the cabins are laid out around that area. Now we're moving into the Garden Cafe. This is the buffet on board Norwegian Onboard. It's open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner most days. All of the hours would change depending on if there was a port or other things going on. was right before dinner service so they weren't quite ready yet to be open but I was able to come in and take a quick walk around so you can see what it looks like. We never ate inside here sit down. I would just come and grab a plate or two and bring it back to the cabin which they didn't have a problem with. And the food along with the food and all the other restaurants, speciality and complimentary was fantastic. Norwegian really hits it out of the park on the food and we were really impressed by the quality in all the different venues. Here's the dessert station with some ice cream on the side there. There's seating all the way around with fantastic views all the way around. And more seating at the back here. When they were open and serving food, they were very busy.
the other side, all the stations just repeat. So there's two or three stations of everything, which helps with the lines and the crowding. self-service wine station. I'm not sure if these are good brands or not. I'm not a wine drinker. And another drink station. So you'll never go thirsty on NCL on board. And now here's another view of the pool deck. This is the adults pool area. Looking back towards those water slides and the kids or family pool area as well. And there's a bar that was always open even if nobody was out in the pool area. And a stage where they can do entertainment and live music. was open, but I didn't see anybody using it right now. Uh, obviously, the temperature and the weather was probably keeping people away, but they did have the pool open if anybody wanted to use it. There we see the adult pool only sign. We did travel in the middle of August, so there was a few kids on board. I know some folks uh, don't like cruising or sailing with a lot of children, so if that's not your thing, you may want to look at a different cruise line. But honestly, they weren't really that much of an issue, and no one really got in our way. Here's another view of the kids splash park area. Another thing I'm not going to be showing in the video is the kids club areas down on deck four. Um, obviously I'm a little bit too old for those areas and I didn't want to go down there and disturb any anything that was going on down there just to record and show them to you. Uh, I do apologize uh, if you need any information on those programs. Leave a comment below and I'll try and get you the resources you need. And they have a big giant screen out on deck. It's not playing anything right now due to regulations in Alaska ports, but they did have movies and other TV shows and entertainment playing on the screen during sailing and other events as well.
there's the towel exchange area. Don't forget, you don't need to bring towels with you on a cruise. There's plenty on board for you in the, by the pool or in your cabin. Just ask your steward for more if you need more towels. Save that room in your suitcase for souvenirs and other things. down to deck 15 this is where you'll find the thermal spa as well uh, I didn't show that because I didn't want to go in there when people had their swimsuits and stuff on and be recording I wanted to respect people's privacy but we're now entering one of my favorite places on Norwegian Aqua and that's going to be the observation lounge this is the place to be on Glacier Bay and other scenic sailings see a very well intricate laid out model of the ship here including the observation lounge at the back where we're at right now another view of Royal Caribbean and all of America ship and Juneau Alaska The Observation Lounge is a great place to come and relax, take a nap, read a book, or just watch the amazing scenery as it floats by. They also have drink stations and they lay out small snacks and hors d'oeuvres throughout the day as well. great views all the way around through these giant windows and there really isn't a bad spot in the house. see the crew getting the observation lounge ready for the evening snack or tea service. The thing that really made this crew so exceptional, fantastic, really was the crew. Everybody on NCL Encore made our stay amazing and everybody was so nice. I can't stress how amazing the crew was, each and every person, and they really do make the difference on um, Norwegian. Here's the bar in the observation lounge, one of the biggest ones on the ship, and a great place to come and grab a drink and see what's going on. If you do want a seat in here, if you're visiting Glacier Bay or another glacier sailing, I recommend getting here very early when they opened at 5 in the morning. By the time it was 7 or 8 o'clock in the morning, all the seats were already taken and it was a packed house.
as you can see, the decor and the observation lounge is amazing. Very modern. A little stage here for musical acts or presentations. I believe they had some lectures in here. And that's where the park rangers did their presentation for Glacier Bay. Here you can see kind of the snacks and stuff that would be laid out in the observation lounge. We have some desserts, and some cakes, and some jello here. some of the hors d'oeuvres. You see all different kinds of seating arrangements. Uh, for families, or for uh, single people, uh, whatever you want to sit down and relax, they have it here. Couches, love seats, uh, day loungers. And another food station. Here you can see the quiches were really, really good and the flatbreads that they had. Again, all the food on board was fantastic. And washing station. See, there's guides by every elevator to let you know where to go or how to get there if you're lost or just can't remember what deck that place you're going to is on. run to the other side here and we're going to go down to deck six. Most of the decks in between 15 and six or all of them basically are just cabins basically just uh, people going in and out not really any restaurants or anything really to see and I didn't want to walk through there and disturb those people. And this is Q Smokehouse. This is another specialty restaurant on Golden Norwegian. This is the barbecue restaurant. Very much a Texas Americana theme on the inside. But they also held other events here like trivia and art classes as well. So it is a versatile space they use for different things as well. I like the ceramic red solo cups on the tables. 
thought that was a nice touch. where they host the other events, trivias, and art classes. Yeah, I believe they even did some live dancing in here. see the guest services area. If you have any issues with your bill or uh, you need to talk with somebody, uh, guest services is where you'll go, right next to the onboard Starbucks, uh, which is not included with any drink package at all. You do have to pay for that. And this would be the main atrium area at CL Encore. Uh, this is where they host the main trivia and other events as well. Another bar. Slided staircases going up to the casino. The glass chandelier in the middle, the glass artwork. Fantastic, amazing. Everything is so clean and modern. This is the social nightclub. Uh, the doors were closed, so I couldn't get in, unfortunately. Not very social, but. <laughs> Uh, we were in port, and that's where they host uh, dances and uh, late night, like nightclub type of events. Another speciality restaurant, the Teppanyaki restaurant. Again, I couldn't go in there because it was closed, unfortunately. And this is Coco's. This is uh, uh, pay, pay, extra pay or speciality dessert. See, they have some pretty fancy stuff here. And some ice cream as well, or gelato, I wasn't sure. Again, there were so many different amazing food options on board. We didn't have a chance to come here because we could find whatever we wanted so many other different places. Or look at uh, our 
per se, and for reading and doing research online, uh, this really isn't that great of a deal. But if you see something you really like, I will talk you out of it. And these are two of the main dining rooms here, Taste on one side. And as we come back around, Saber on the other side. They're both uh, essentially the same restaurant, they just have a different name. Their main dining room, uh, open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, all days of the cruise. Uh, very fantastic service, of you, uh, especially from the manager who we seem to run into all the time. And that the crew, again, staff was all amazing. They took care of me and my mother, fantastic. Always took care of the walker, and made sure we were taken care of. I can't say enough about the crew on NCL Offshore. Going back in the elevator here, a little bit lost. Just trying to show as much stuff as possible. So. We'll go up to deck seven here. And we'll take a look at the main main dining room, or one of the three, but the largest, the Manhattan room. This one was open, so I was able to kind of sneak in and take a look and show it to you. As you can see, plenty of seating. Uh, lots of different options for different group sizes or families. And it was just a great place to eat. We ate here a couple times. Uh, it's the same food as the other two restaurants. Don't worry about one having a better menu or anything else or the same food. It's just uh, basic deciding on what side of the ship you want to eat on that night. Looks like they have a little stage here for entertainment or music. And again, those amazing views of Alaska. As you can see, there's still tablecloths on Norwegian. They haven't gotten rid of them yet, like on other cruise lines.
take a quick look at that menu there in case you want to see what the menu is like in one of the main dining rooms. Now we're moving into the casino. Uh, obviously it's closed right now because we're in port. And gambling's not illegal everywhere and it's not legal in Alaska. So the machines will automatically disable themselves. This is the smoking area in the casino. They do have a separate smokers casino for people who want to smoke or bake. And uh, it's sealed off and doesn't bother the rest of the um, guests who want to gamble without uh, wanting to smoke. And it worked really well. Uh, I was really surprised. And I think it's a great feature in our region has. So if you're worried about smoking in the casino, don't worry about that on that see a lot more. And you see that casinos fairly big, it goes uh, quite a ways, and they have table games here in the middle. And look down onto the restaurants in the nightclub area, down those clear glass stairs. table games and the cashier to get all your money from when you're done playing. And now we're moving into the local bar and grill area. This is a, a big bar right there. And looking down, looks like they just started them on the maps of the world trivia. Looks like Israel, Great Britain, two points for me. And then back to the left is the local restaurant. It's open 24 seven. They serve fantastic diner style food. And again, very popular late at night. Grab something to eat. Uh, no to go, unfortunately, but you could come down and grab something to eat pretty much any time of day or night. And let's take a walk up those clear glass stairs to the shopping area.
there's some more bars and lounges up on this level as well. The sugar cane mojito bar there to the left. Some of the larger pieces of water on board. This is the Maltings Whiskey Bar. If you like whiskey, this is your place. And the Cavern Club. This is where the Beatles cover band plays as part of the entertainment. Uh, obviously it's closed. I was able to go inside and take a look, but it's supposed to be modeled off of the original bar in Liverpool. And across the way, there's the wine cellar or the cellar's wine bar. Again, not a big wine drinker, so didn't really come here at all. Again, the sugar cane mojito bar. This is uh, obviously where they serve mojitos. And they also have uh, live music here and other events during the day. And here we are entering the, uh, the higher end shopping area. They were closed uh, right now, uh, but maybe when I come back, they'll be open. Another specialty restaurant right here, Ocean Blue. This is the seafood restaurant on board. Uh, we did not eat here. Uh, I couldn't tell you if it's good or not, um, but it looks as good uh, presentation-wise as the rest of the restaurants and dining rooms on board. So I'm sure it was just as fantastic. Now here's more of the main regular shopping area where they would have sales and last chance sales and those kind of events during the day and at night. Duty free items here in the cases, watches and cigarettes and alcohol. And here's the photo gallery. If you had any pictures taken aboard, this is where you would go to check them out, uh, get them printed out, get copies. Uh, also, if you need memory card or have issues with your uh, camera, they can uh, help you out a little bit there as well. More stores, uh, more shopping, do we free shopping? Um, again, uh, since we were in port, none of this uh, was open since they would have to charge taxes. And now coming up on to specialty restaurants we did eat at, we ate at both of these Los Lobos and Cagney's. Cagney's on the right, uh, Los Lobos on the left. Cagney's is the steakhouse. Uh, they do have one on uh, every NCL ship, I believe. Uh, standard steakhouse fair. It was very excellent. We went there on my birthday. Um, my mom was a vegetarian, so she wasn't um, too impressed with what was going on there. But we managed to have a good time still. Uh, Los Lobos, we went there on our last night of the cruise, which was in Victoria. And, uh, there you were allowed to have one bar open per deck uh, according to Canadian rules. So one of the lovely servers here went and got me a drink on another bar, a bar on another level. I don't even know where she had to go to get it. 
And again, that just uh, shows some of the fantastic service that's available. And the links are willing to go to uh, make their guests happy. And I was not expecting that. I really appreciated it. And you can see the, the dining rooms, they kind of share the similar space. So I think that gives them a little bit more flexibility if more people want to go one place as opposed to the other. And then you have the bar here in the middle as well. And great views all the way around. trouble with the doors here doing the NCL shuffle trying to get through the doors here you can see the bake shop through on the other side that's another uh, speciality or uh, extra pay uh, venue uh, they have little cakes and cookies and stuff in there you'll see here in a minute once I figure out how to get through the door see what's on this side. And this is the waterfront. This is the promenade deck down on the lower deck. Uh, NCL calls it the waterfront, but it's a deck that uh, wraps all the way around about decade and gives you fantastic views. Walk outside, uh, get fresh air. There's also a seating for specialty restaurants lined up on both sides of the ship at on this walkway. Not really the weather for specialty dining right now outdoors, but I'm sure in the warmer water, warmer areas the boat goes, they're very popular seating areas, I'm sure. Again, looking back at you now, Mount Roberts. see where I'm going. And here's a closer look at that bake shop. Cakes and macarons, macarons. Sorry if I'm saying that right or wrong, depending on where you're from. Yay! Finally let me outside. And there's uh, ice cream as well. Uh, that is an additional charge as well, but they have the Dolce Gelato there as well. And here you can see some of the outdoor seating for the restaurants. And 
now coming back on the very back or half portion of the ship. And you can see, more again, more great views of Alaska. Those are clear glass panels right there below you. If you stand there and look below, and you're actually over the water. See more weather moving in over Mount Roberts towards Juno. And here see some outdoor seating for Cagneys. just some chairs and couches for guests who just want to come out and relax and get some fresh air. Some more great views of other cruise ships and Juno, and some binoculars here if you need to get a closer look. And you can see kind of the way the water is moving here, how hard the wind was blowing. And now we're moving inside. This is Onda by Scarpetta. This is another speciality restaurant. This is an Italian restaurant on board. And we did eat here as well. It was fantastic. The food was really, really good, as well as the service, just like all the other venues on board and CL on board.
we're getting towards the end of the video now. I'd like to thank you for coming along on this tour with us on seeing the amazing ship, Norwegian Encore. We had a fantastic time. We love seeing Alaska and Glacier Bay and all the scenic beauty. But it, again, it was a crew aboard NCL Encore that made this such a fantastic experience. If you like what you see, please like and subscribe. We really need to help get growing the channel so we can keep doing more adventures like this and sharing them with you. Thank you very much for coming along and have a great day.